Hi and welcome back. Today I have a card for you where I will be using a really lovely stamp set. This is the Inked Rose by Alta New and I absolutely love the design because it is so sketchy. I also love that it is big and bold so it makes a perfect uh, element for uh, the top of your cards but I also think that it is perfect for our journaling as well. So today I will be using my alcohol markers to color them and there have been released a couple of uh, new sets by Alte New and you can see here the colors. For today I will be using the one with the oranges and the greens. They have also come up with a new blending marker and if you haven't tried these alcohol markers give them a chance. I know that you will find uh, that they are great, they blend beautifully, they are nice and juicy and they do have a brass tip as well as a very fine tip. Another fun thing about these uh, markers is that uh, they match perfectly with the oval sets by Alte New. I'm a big fan of these oval sets and um, having the markers to go together with the inks is uh, great because you can mix and match those. I am going to do that today for the card. So let's start with the stamping. So this is the Inked Rose stamp set and I'm just showing you the leaflet to get an idea of uh, different uh, things that you can do with this stamp set. I'm going to stamp it with my Misty and uh, I'm using permanent ink here so that I can use my alcohol markers later on. To color my flower I will be using the oranges from the new marker set and uh, you can see a quick swatch here. I will be using the two lighter markers and the darker one. Now I will color each and every flower separately, starting from the darker shade and moving to the middle and to the lighter. Now I don't like to spend too much time coloring, I prefer doing the coloring really quickly and when it comes to alcohol markers I find that uh, super quick coloring works great if you have the perfect set that matches together. And this is the case with these oranges, so no matter how quickly I go and I don't go back again and again to do the same petal many times, you will see that uh, it's going to look fine at the end. Now this big rose is perfect for uh, practicing your coloring skills with any medium really, with your alcohol markers, your pencils, your water coloring, it would look uh, beautiful any way you color it. Now the only thing I pay attention to is to where I am adding the darker shade and this is why I apply color to each petal separately just to make sure that I add the darker shade of orange where the petal comes underneath another petal. And I will do the same thing again and again until I have all the petals ready to go. Now I'm going to show you a fun thing that I like to do with my blending markers. So here is the blending marker. This is supposed to push the color outside of an area, which means that you can use it quickly over some areas of the petal to push the color away, which is going to add some highlights on your petal. I touch each area very lightly and I don't go back to it again and again. You will find that as the time passes this is going to move. So don't add too much in the beginning or it's going to look funny. And finally I'm going to use the green colors from the same set. I will not use the lighter one, I will go with the next three ones. So again I'm using the same technique adding the darker shade at the bottom, moving to the middle shade and then to the lighter one. Really quick coloring, I don't go back to the areas again and again. I just uh, add the color there and I'm ready to go. And if the markers blend nicely together, you really don't have to worry about anything else. I will use the magic dies to cut out the images. This way I will be able to pop them on my card and add dimension. And now it's time to design the final card to put everything together and for that I will be using the inks that match perfectly with the colors of my markers. So I'm going to grab my panel and this is four and a quarter by five and a half and with olive oval set I'm going to go all around the border making sure that this is nicely inked up. This is going to match nicely with the color of my leaves. Of course you can do this uh, process with the actual marker but this is quicker and I don't uh, spend a lot of ink from my marker. Now I can add the panel on top, I can place it at the center to have a lovely green border or I can slide it towards one side just to add some interest on my card. At the top right corner I'm going to stamp my sentiment again from the same stamp set as the rose. 
I will go with the sentiment that says from the bottom of my heart and I'm going to combine black with one of the oranges that matches perfectly the color of the rose. So I masked off the word heart and I stamped the rest of the sentiment with black and now I'm going to stamp only the word heart with orange. I'm super happy with the result of my two colored sentiment and I find it really cool when I can match my markers with my alcohol inks. And now finally I'm going to put my card together. I have foam tape at the back of my flower as well as at the back of the leaves. I'm going to stick them down and my card is ready. Now this is actually part of a blog hop so if you are watching on YouTube make sure to click the link below and go to my blog. You will find there a giveaway as well as lots of inspiration. So thank you all so much for watching. Here are some close-up photos on the project that I did for today. I hope you had fun that you got inspired and I'll see you all next time.